Right, hi, um, this pocket is finished. Just let me move. Right. I always think I'm ready, but then I always have to move something. Um, so it's been put together on the machine. This is the front. I would say this is the front, but if it was yours, you could make your own mind up. Uh, it's the ironing board piece. The ironing board is there. It's got decorative puffs down there. This is all hand embroidery. This is the back. Just a panel of pattern cloth there with pattern taken from the front, extended onto the back, and then decorative puffs down there and down there. And the lining is actually embroidered as well with a little bit of the pattern taken again from the front that's on the back is now in the lining too. So it's lined with silk. Now the final thing is this, I need to put this on. And this is my little label. This is how I'm going to attach my labels for my show in France. Um, I'm going to make them all into buttons. So it's got a label that says a pocket and a label that's got my name on. Um, and some bullion loops. Same colour as this. Same fabric as this. And white silk. Okay. Um, so I need to decide now where to put this. And to be honest, I should have decided already. But I never looked at it. Um, last night I thought... Oh, I've got to put that button on there tomorrow and it didn't occur to me to look where to put it. Now, I could either put it here. I did think about putting it in the lining, but then I wondered if it would make the lining heavy and make it less liable to sit nicely, you know, for display or for... But then I think it's probably quite unexpected in the lining, isn't it? If I was to attach that to there... It would mean having a tie on the front. Would that bother me if I put it... I wouldn't want to be tying through that green. So it would have to be... Actually, I think inside's nice. It's a nice little surprise, isn't it? So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. No debate. No, no huge angst. So I am literally just going to go through the thing on the back once because don't forget this is the front and I don't want it looking like a dog's dinner and I'm literally just going to tie it on um, I don't think there's a danger in the future of this falling off because it's not like it's being fastened and unfastened day in day out I'll tie it, that's three and I'm not pulling it too tight because I don't want to crease the front the silk so it will have some kind of movement inside. It's lovely. So literally, there. So we're tied about five times there. So if I cut that off now, that's just a nice little unobtrusive tie on the front that's barely visible. I'm just going to put this needle on there. That's barely visible. Um, so that's how the front looks I mean somebody might come and think oh what's that there's a bit of thread on there but they'll feel if you do that you can feel a weight so you think oh and there it is inside really really unexpected and nice I think along with that embroidery on the inside so that's that done now so I just need to take photographs of that to go with this blog post that's something else on my finished pile for France and I'm absolutely delighted Okay.